I see um, Emmanuel hand is off and that of Kenny, so I'm going to be enabling Emmanuel to talk now. So Emmanuel, your mic is enabled now, you can talk. All right, um, I'll be enabling Kenny, Emmanuel, uh, Emmanuel is not talking. Kenny, I'm allowed you now you can talk. Hello, Kenny. I just, I disabled you, Mana, because you weren't talking. I can't let two people be talking at the same time. But Kenny is enabled. If Kenny did not talk, I would disable and enable on that one. Okay, back to you, Mana. You can unmute now, then talk. Hello, Imana, you can unmute. You are muted. I've enabled your mic, but you yourself need to unmute before you can talk. Okay, you can drop your question in the chat area. Let's move to Adeni. Adelum, Adeni, Adelum. I'm, I'm enabling you now. You can talk. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, good evening, everyone. Thanks for all you've been doing, sir. What I just want to ask you a simple question, sir. I don't know. And I've been doing some things online, maybe like front end, but I noticed that most of our development actually they are being done offline. And with what I'm saying, are we supposed to be prepared to be doing all our stuff? Talks online. Maybe there's an app that we need to download or something. I just want to ask so that we can know how to prepare ahead for all those, you know, data subscriptions and all that stuff. I don't know if you get my question, sir. Yeah, yes, your question is clear, but Jafflet, would you like to answer that? Yeah, great question. So, two things I wanted to respond to for the uh, relating to the question you asked. First, Everything we are doing, as you notice, the name of the solution we are using is Microsoft 365. And I mentioned earlier, the reason why it is called 365 is you have access to it all year, all day of the year, 365 days in a year. Meaning, anytime you need to utilize it, you don't, you can always use it, which means it has to be online, right? that gives you that leverage to always have access to that solution. So everything we're going to be doing would be online. We'll be using internet to, um, our internet connection to work with all of these whenever we need to. And then the second part where you talked about um, front-end web development, a new part of Microsoft's Power Platform is Power Pages, and it gives you the ability to create web applications with auto writing code, more of like um, your WordPress and other Wix and other um, uh, solutions you have. But then this time, one thing that makes it different is you can connect to Microsoft 365, which a lot of organizations use as their data source. You can connect to Dataverse, you can connect to SharePoint, you can do all other amazing things. And later, during the 30 days of learning program in the Power Platform track, we would be showing you how to utilize Microsoft's Power Pages. So yeah, hope this answered your question. Yes, yes, thank you, sir. Great. All right, so I'm moving on to, please, um, Ken, you can drop your question um, in the chat area. Um, now over to Omotayo. So Omotayo, I've enabled you to speak. Okay, thank you, Mr. Yes. Okay, and um, my just my question is very simple. I dropped my question in question in the chat box. Maybe you haven't seen it. And my question is: Is the Microsoft A365 um, a prerequisite to for us to um, create the Power App Dev plans? 
Yes, it is. Now, the reason why is because you are connecting everything together. The way the learning track for Power BI and Power Platform has been designed is you're going to be working on a solution. Now, it's going to give you a, we want to help you become a professional, right? So we're introducing you to the professional world. How do things work in the professional world? Right. So that's the reason why you need to co um, um, utilize it right. to connect both of those together and build a full solution, a full complete solution, just the same way it works in the reward space. Um, thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Um, Eminem, over to you. Um, Okay, um, Abdurrahman, I've enabled you to speak. Eminem is not working now. Abdurrahman, over um, to you. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thanks yes. for the opportunity. So my question is, um, some of us do have um, developers account and um, power app account before. Can we still make use of those accounts or do we have to create a new one? Okay, so it's great first that you already have experience with GTC Microsoft 365 and Power Apps developer accounts. Um, like I mentioned earlier, this program is designed in such a way that you're building a full solution. <clears throat> so taking you all the way from the beginning, from the early parts of building your solution down to the end of it. So it's important for you to create a, or you need to create a, a, a new account so that we could follow along, tag along um, with together. Um, All right, thank um, you very much. So, so um, Jaffa, just to confirm, um, if they have a developer account and Power Apps account, Power Apps developer plan, do uh, they still need to create uh, all over again? Yeah, so they can't build on so many applications or there's a limit to developer accounts, how many solutions you can build with this. So yeah, but they can they can take out some because that what that then means is they will have to create a new Outlook account because an individual account cannot create two multiple um, developer accounts. So they have to create a new Outlook account and then have to sign up. So if is the limit of application, if they have that issue, they can remove one or two things they've done in the past. And I'm just looking at how we can lessen that that journey for them. But is this something that they can still use what they have? Yeah, so just to um, to make it also easy, because Abdur Abdurrahman may be having issues along the way because he has so many applications built and, you know, having to go through all of that again. I'm also some might also be affecting some of the applications he might have built, some of the subscription he has had uh, utilized might also be affecting it. Um, so Abdurrahman, you can also decide to do that. I'm not saying you can't do that, but then just so it's easy for us to follow along, since everybody will be starting from scratch, that's the reason why I'm also saying um, <clears throat> you would also, you might also need to create a new account. All right, thank you very much. Right, um, I have Kenny. I'm going to enable, no, oh, I think it's Kepo. Kepo, I'm going to allow you, and after that, we have Kenny. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Please, I want to ask that if you are interested in learning front end developer, that what uh, track is the uh, best for you to join in this program? Okay, so I uh, would we'll walk through the three different tracks in the days of learning program. <clears throat> we have the data science and machine learning parts, which will teach you how to build your machine learning models, deal with artificial intelligence, and you know, data science, um, cleaning your data, preparing your data for your machine learning and the likes. We have the data analytics pathway, which will take you through building your uh, visualizations, you know your data operation and the likes utilizing a part of microsoft's power platform which is power um, bi and then for 
Power Platform track, which is the local development track, would teach you how to um, utilize Power Apps for building enterprise applications, applications that can be used within your organization, Power Automate for building automated solutions without having to write code, Power Virtual Agent to build bots without having to write code, and then Power Pages, which is, like I mentioned earlier, more of like WordPress, your Wix, um, and any other popular solution for building web applications without writing code. But this time, it connects to Power Platform, connects to Power Apps, connects to Power Automate, connects to Power BI, it connects to a Power Virtual Agent, so all of them together. <clears throat> Okay, um, um, thanks, Jablet. Yeah, if I may also add to that, Kepo, um, since the three tracks we are dealing with does not, um, do, is not, does not cover all this front end development, a, a, a choice track that I will recommend for you that have interest in it is Power Platform uh, because you get to build application, uh, mobile app, different form of apps you know, without writing so much of a code. And that sort of break major concept in that knowledge track for you. Uh, is, um, if you can build an app using Power Apps and do that repeatedly using several features to continue to learn uh, your, your front-end languages to build more apps, become more easier because in one day you have been able to build an app which if you are learning the different stacks in the front end might take you a couple of weeks, you know, can even take you a month before you can have or you can before you can replicate that kind of functional app that you're able to build just in one day. So um that will make that whole journey easy for you and seamless. So that would be my recommendation. Thank right. You so much. And, yeah, you're welcome. And Kenny, we have you, and after Kenny, we take uh, this doesn't have name, FNU, LNU. Maybe you're anonymous, but your hand is up. But let's take Kenny first. Okay, Steve can't hear Kenny. Um, let's take this FNU. Kenny seems to be talking. Most likely is your mic. I think I you're trying to talk. Hello. Um, I Hello. think Kenny has Hello. network issues. Probably could try rejoining yeah. the call. Okay, so let me quickly drop this here. We have less than four minutes to go. Please ask more questions in the Discord channel. What we're going to do after this call, we download this session. There are two parts now. There's a walkthrough guide. There's, um, a, there's also a question and answer guide that you can also listen to. We'll get them uploaded and also share the link. Um, so that it's accessible to you to walk through. You might not be able to follow through in this way, but we'll, we'll edit and make sure uh, those information flows to one another in a way that you can follow through and replicate and create your own account. So um, that is something to add. you get the link, every information in the Discord channel and also the link to the recorded session, which will be edited and put in proper session. So um, any other question before we, we move? I think I have a question on the chat. Hi, do you need a work? Oh, okay, someone has responded. Okay, there was a question and then um, Rachel has responded. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, and I think Eminence is trying to ask a question. Okay, Eminence, are you, you can speak now. Okay. Um, um, most likely network challenge. So tomorrow, just to let you guys know what we'll be doing tomorrow. Yes, we expect you today up to tomorrow's afternoon to be able to create your own developer account like this that we've done. And we'll share the resources again with you. Tomorrow, we will be dealing with Microsoft 365. And I want to reiterate this. People that have interned with me while I was still in a multinational insurance company, the best gift they took from our engagement is not the code they build in Jupyter Notebook or Visual Studio Code, because I, I work as a data scientist and I mentored and had a lot of interns that work with me. The best is ability to use office applications productively and collaboratively. So being a data scientist does not exempt you from having this account. 
uh, because overall your Jupyter notebook everything does in NDM. Most of the time you have to create dashboard to monitor your model. Most of the time you have to create a presentation, you know, to engage the business stakeholders. And you must even before you even start that project, you create a business document that shows what is it about, what is the what are you trying to solve, what the expected benefit, what is the architecture. If you don't know how to use all these Office 365 apps and services to put up that kind of thing, then you can't be presenting Jupyter notebook to them. So just to let everyone know that it is relevant, it is not just for Power Platform or the guys in Power BI. We truly want to prepare you for the way it is in the corporate settings. So tomorrow we'll be holding a session together where we get to you know, show you how these apps and services works. Now you've created those accounts, you just get to familiar with them. What is SharePoint? What is OneDrive? What is PowerPoint? You know, what are all these applications? Uh, we are not moving to Power Platform. Uh, because there's a session dedicated for that, but just collaborative and productivity applications within Microsoft 365. Those are the things we touch tomorrow just to create familiarity with those apps. Right? If there are questions, please just continue to engage. I want to say a very big thank you to Jafflet for this session today. And thanks for our support team. We have Somalis, we have Bethany. You know, Somalis is in South Africa, is also a cloud advocate in Microsoft. And also Bethany from Kenya. It's late already, I mean, like seven o'clock now, but yet she's here with us. And on Friday, both of them will be leading the session on how to activate your Azure for student account. So um, what we did yesterday, we replicate that. I know some people are not yet able to activate their GitHub account. We hope the verification process will be completed before Friday. And on Friday, they would point you to exactly how to use that account to activate your Azure for student. Please feel free to continue to ask questions. People are there on that Discord. The more questions you have, the more the mentor could, you know, can support you. I think we are done for, for now. All right, um, Jafflet, any final word before we end the meeting? Yes, yeah, so something I would like to mention is please try as much as possible to check out this. If you're having any issues with it, don't be scared. Um, try as much as possible to read the error message. Try to fix it. If you can't fix it, please reach out to any of us. We'll help you fix it. Uh, you notice during the presentation, we had all of those little errors, such as um, um, number, you know, telling us that the number of uh, submissions, blah, blah, was much from our region and all of that. So when you see things like this, calm down, don't be scared, try as much as possible, you know, to see how you can rectify it. And then secondly, please read every single section before you tick an answer. If you are not sure for an answer to tick, reach out to us in the Discord server so you don't create something else and then during development it starts giving error uh, so those are two things i just wanted to mention too thank you very much and i think on this powerful note we can bring this engagement today um, to an end i want to appreciate everyone and let this conversation continue on on discord so that continue to support you bye for now guys